get ready to experience freedom versus sad. Sad meaning stress, stress anxiety, anxiety, and depression. depression. This is going to be a good show. It is. I'm Josh Jericho. And I'm Jason Hilly. Let's get it. So, um, you know, today we're talking about depression. Correct. Um, what does depression mean? Well, depression means a severe uh, feeling of unhappiness hmm. and disappointment. Yo, what's good? I came all the way out here to uplift you and bring you out tonight, dog. Let's go. Nah, it's not like I'm going to have a good time anyway. What you mean? Bro, it's going to be drinks, it's going to be live, we're going to be bands, everything there, bro. Everybody's going to be there tonight. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Nah, it's not like I'm going to have fun. What you mean not going to have fun? What do you freaking mean, man? Let's go. Nah, y'all can go without me. You know what? I'll bring some food back. How about that? Nah, it's not like I'm going to enjoy the food either. All right, man. I'll see you later, man. Too down for me. So, you know, of course, we've been telling our uh, listeners and our followers yes. to um, break down the word, yes, break correct. down the definition, not only read the definition out, but what would be some a synonym or some synonyms that, you know, could be very simple for someone out there to understand? Well, a synonym that I always go to is unhappiness and disappointment, which was used inside the definition. Okay. You know, so them are two words that stand out that is easy to identify. Easy to relate in to. feelings yes. and in words. So. Yes, definitely in emotions. I can agree to that. Yeah. You know, uh, when I hear disappointment, I automatically understand what I'm, disappointment is. I feel is. down. Yeah. Unhappiness is down and depression is a down word. It's like a low energy. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. yes. So what would be opposite of... You know, disappointment and unhappiness. Well, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? That is correct. So, satisfaction is uh, the opposite of depression. Hmm. So, if you don't use satisfaction, you lose, you lose satisfaction. satisfaction. Yes. Oh, what's good, Jericho? What's up, man? Yo, look, bro. It's been a crazy week for both of us. I know it has. Yeah. Let's get some drinks. Let's go wild. Let's grab something to eat. You know, this is how we beat our depression. You know what? That does sound like a good idea. You already know, bro. It's time to be satisfied tonight. Let's get yeah. satisfied, bro. Yeah, and I'm hungry. So. Come on, man. Me too, man. Let's get out of here. Definitely, uh, beat this depression out, right? The point is, uh, identify the definition, break down the synonym, mm -hmm. and understand the opposite so that you can use more of the opposite instead of the the word that is making you feel The word itself and the definition. Down, so. so, now that we've read the definition of yeah. depression, um, and we broke down the synonym. Yes. And then we broke down the opposite of the synonym and of the word depression. Yes. Um, can you relate to a, a time where you felt depressed? Well, I know that me and you relate with this subject on a higher level mm -hmm. because we went through and we got through depression together. We actually got through um, what we call solid depression. Solid depression. And we came up with this, or and it is a real term. We found out this term which we identified it in, I think, 2016, 17 yeah, probably 2016. However, 2016. in 2014, me and Josh Jericho lost our father. You yes. know what I'm saying? And that took a toll on me because during that time, I was being evicted from a house, okay. me and my family. And during that time, you know, I was actually... Um, separating myself from colleagues and friends within my musical career. Yeah, yeah. You know, so these were big steps that, yes. and big sacrifices that had to take place because I was in a gullible state of mind. Yes, and the crazy thing about um, the death in 2014, we had to come together. Yes. And fight through it together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was I think that was the beautiful thing out of what we what we were dealing with. Yes. However, it made us feel a certain way during that time too. Yes. Um, <sighs> I remember uh, us in in Philadelphia. Yeah. You know, without and we had short temper. We had very short tempers. We was fighting, fighting bars, and you know, even <sighs> fighting with words with other people. With other people losing our minds, losing self control. Um, and honestly, you know. 
that that is that is very important when you're going through a, a dark time in your life. Yes. That you catch yourself. Yes. We wasn't catching ourselves. No. We, we just added. We didn't have that balance that I can say that we have today. No, we didn't. Also, we had a low energy. Yes, sorry. During energy. that time, yeah, our right. vibrations was low. Yeah. Thinking that we're doing something to bring us up mm -hmm. the whole time, it was bringing us it was bringing down. down. It was actually boxing us in. Boxing us all the way in, yes. dude. Um, I remember times sitting in sitting at, at the crib, mm -hmm. and we were making music, but I don't know where to go how to like you didn't have no type of direction. direction no plan and i was just doing like i was literally doing random stuff right i know when it first happened when pops first passed um i was numb to everything bro numb to everything even though we were doing music i was numb you yep. know, I I had no feeling. I had no expression. We didn't even know, honestly, and it sounds crazy. We didn't even know that Trump was president at one time. It sounds crazy, or it sounds like uh, uh, out of out of whack, or out of tune. But we were so numb to our father dying in 2014 mm -hmm. that we didn't know what the world was doing. Right, and I'm pretty sure that y that you know you all can relate to a time where you felt numb. I'm sure y'all can. You felt short tempered. Yes. Or, you know, you felt your energy being real low. See, I'm sure that people that's watching us right now mm -hmm. been through uh, eviction or been through some type of disappointment or losing the person uh, that they looked up to. Or even losing something there or some, something losing a, Losing a career, losing a, losing a pet. Right, or a relationship. You know uh, I mean? Yes, like, and there are them down points where you have to really soul search and make a plan because growing up we grew up in a random situation right which is a beautiful situation right it turned to be beautiful because i got i got the dopest brothers i got the dopest sisters you know shout out to our family out there right now that's that's tuning in you know we love you and we always gonna love you and have respect and love for you you know however we went through all them dark times even with them yes you know what I'm saying? Some, sometimes we didn't even talk to them. You know, our <laughs> depression and us being more open about our depression during those times. Yes. Um. I I can and will and I will say that it was rough for everyone to step step over that boundary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And really uh, take accountability and say, okay, these are my emotions. This is how I'm feeling at the time. Yes. This is what I'm dealing with right now. And how am I going to get through it? Well, you got to, to me, you got to set aside fantasy and reality. Yes. Death is not no fantasy thing. It's not. It's reality. Mm -hmm. So when it's death occur, you got to look at your reality. Set that in. Where am I in life? Mm -hmm. What do I, what am I doing mm -hmm. in life? Who am I with in life? Are they here for me? Are they going to help me through this? Or they not, cause sometimes your partner that you're with don't help you through the 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 situation. And what I learned was, and this is what I really learned about mental mm -hmm. illness, cause we dealt with mental illness. Depression is a mental illness, and when you're dealing with this type of mental illness, you never leave people. And this is for everybody that's watching this right now. Whenever you're going through any mental illness, mm -hmm. or the person around you going through mental illness, do not leave their side. Stand by their side. Ride with them. Yes. Ride with them. You know, sometimes there are, there are some people that may not know how to talk to you through their depression. Yes. But Just it's okay. Stick it through with them. You know, it's okay. Yes. There, there are friends that may not be able to relate to you in your low periods of time. Stick it through with high. them. You know? Yes. It, there may be friends that are, are numb, just as numb as you are. Stick it through with them. You got to stick it through because one thing for sure, two things for certain. We all are human. Yes. We all are human before we are, we are, we are genders. You know yes. what I'm saying? So as human, have that human decency to understand that my friend, my lover, my partner, whatever it may be, my mm -hmm. child, they are going through something right now. I identify it. Find ways, read books, find ways to help them out. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes give them some space. You allowed to give them some space, but don't give them enough space where they feel neglected. Because then they go because love is not a neglection. So you gotta devote your time 
with the space there. Yeah. Still devote your time. Come back, leave some space. Come back, leave some space because at the end of the day, when you're sitting there and they're sitting there, they still have in the back of their mind that, yo, Jason going to come through today once. And, and that can help, <laughs> you know, that can help someone through depression. Mm -hmm. Through those depressed stages, you know, just, the, just that little bit of support. Family is very important during depression. Special friends are too. And you don't get a lot of great family and you don't get a lot of you great don't get special, a lot of friends. special friends. You get a lot of vultures, people that want to take from your identity, take from your uh, potential during that time. So it's important, anybody that's struggling through depression right now, to get around people that really got truly divine love for you. And, and that truly got your back, your best interest. Even if, even if you feel like they're wrong, they're still there. They're still there. They still love you. And it's okay to it's okay to disagree. Yes. You know, especially again in your time of depression. Because sometimes you don't see it clearly. At first. No. Nope. It may take a it's month. A cloud. It may take a week. It may take a day. But the point is to keep going and keep building and keep getting better. Keep keep reaching for satisfaction. Yeah, we gotta keep reaching for satisfaction. And another key that helps me. And I know help you. It's going back to a childhood memory. Yes. Something you that connect. was fun. Yes. Go back to a childhood memory that was fun. And it will bring you out of that depression. Yes. You know what I'm saying? What are you afraid of? Because depression is fear. And you know, kind of to end this this conversation, we're making it long winded because you know we don't have that much time. Mm -hmm. Sad, anxiety, and depression all have one thing in common. Well, sad, stress, anxiety, and depression. Yeah. Well, stress, anxiety, depression. You know, excuse me for that. But stress, anxiety, and depression has one thing in common, and that's fear. That's fear itself. You got to figure out what are you f afraid of during that moment. What do you fear during do stress, you fear? during anxiety, during depression? Because that's the common ground. And then once you find that out, I promise you, you'll have a, a opening of, you know, different ways. Remember, there's two roads, but there's one way to go. So, again, I mean... We're going to leave you with that right now. Yes. We'll leave you with that one question. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? I'm Josh Jericho. And I'm Jason Hiller. And this is Freedom versus Sad. <laughs> Sad meaning stress, anxiety, and, and depression. depression. And I hope we all can fight through all of this stress, anxiety, and depression. Tune in and don't miss out on the next episode. Do not. We out.